I bet you have experienced AI generated image like this and you want to enhance the image or fix the overcooked skin to this or even more detail, sharp colors, better quality like this. Let's find out. So I have created a stable diffusion workflow in Comfy UI for fixing this kind of image. And it is very practical workflow. We have latent upscale detailers and two image upscaler to enhance the detail and every single part of an image. So basically we can generate new image from the empty latent image. And we use IP adapter and control net to generate a new image on the top. At last, we pass the data to four image enhancement groups after the K sampler. And then I also including image to image groups in here. Right now it is in bypass mode. When we need to fix an existing image, we can connect the VAE encode to the K sampler and disconnect this empty latent image. So let's run one time using text to image uh, and generate a new image with the IP adapter and control net. Now in this workflow, the most important part is latent upscale image enhancement and also go through the second stage, which is the detailers for face or hands or the whole character's body. After that, we are going to the two upscaler groups. So I got two upscalers here. So let's wait and see. So let's zoom into this one. This is the first text to uh, image generate result. And then it brings to the, the latent uh, image enhancement, which as you can see the face and the skins, everything has got more details. Uh, and then you see the necklace and the dress. They have, they have got more detail on the second one. And then you can see the third steps. Here's the detailer, which uh, I bring the latent image result, pass it through this detailer to enhance even more. So we got like a more realistic styles characters here. So after generate and then upscaler, this is the result as you can see the comparison in here. So let's go back to this workflow and we can set the detailers group to not only face, you can enhance the hands or even the persons. So let's go to here as you can see the styles of this. Okay. Let's save this image first and then I can bring over to the image to image method here to let's do another scenario to fix an image like this hands over the first image here and then we can enable this image to image group. And then we bypass this empty latent image node and then we connect the image to image group to the case sampler. We load another image from the previous generate image, and then we can enhance based on this image using this workflow as well. So let's try a new fresh empty workflow so we don't get confused here, right? So without any result, let's click generate and we see a new fresh result from here. So because the open post in this workflow I'm using currently is the same post as the image generate result. So it is okay to enable the open post in here, but if you want to do other image to image, you can also using the same image in your DW open post reference image. And right now, as you can see, the detailer took place. And then even the first stage, the case sampler, it got more details on the backgrounds. And then the dress is more details, right? It's not like only solid backgrounds on the back. And then the dress is more detail. And then the second and the third detailer groups in here, as you can see, it's enhancing the whole characters. And then the face, especially the detailers group is enhancing the face, right? And then now we go to the last two upscalers. We do more color enhancement and sharpening the color at the last stage. So let's save this image. It looks pretty good actually. So let's show the display of this. This is the first gen and then after detail upscale gen. Uh, so let's try another example. Let me show you how this caused the skins. Looks like overcooked it. Okay, so I have clone three detailers here. So it will simulate some AI image that is overcooked. Like the skin is broken or some bone is popping out. Something like that. All right, as you can see this example, they got a monster hand that basically has overcooked it already. What I call too much samplings and too much detail added going on and that caused this happen. And I add 
like three detailers in here. So it will simulate this kind of result. So guys, if you want to enhance image, you don't need to add so many custom notes on your workflow like this. And you enhance the face and then the hands and then the characters in one workflow like this. Sometimes it's too complex and then too much sampling steps that is causing the image characters or whatever that element is overcooked. Okay, so this is another example I want to show which is showing in the introduction of this videos. As you can see, the face of this character, these females, is just like burning, right? It's like overcooked it because it has too much sampling steps in multiple case samplers going on. And I just want to create this to simulate this kind of defected image and how we can fix this using this very practical workflow. So as you can see in the latent image and then the detailers groups, we have already enhanced the face details in here and also the dress and overall outlook, the outfit enhancement from the latent upscale groups. So let's zoom into here. As you can see, we are focusing on the face for the detailers and the IP adapter is also influencing the elements in this image. So the dresses look similar. The character will look similar to the IP adapter reference image. And let me bring this one. So as you can see that to basic pipe, this node is directly connect to the IP adapter. So we have very much influenced by the IP adapter image to the detailer groups here. So when we're going through the detailers group, the character face is going to be changed a lot compared with the latent upscale image result. So after that, we will bring to the first upscale groups here. As you can see that the face is the same face, but then we have better skins and more color enhancement. And then the last upscaler is the 4X Ultra Sharp, which we bring the color more sharpening at the last stage. And also the image size is upscale larger two times. So yeah, this is very practical, nothing fancy. It's very practical workflow that I want to show you guys and you guys can use it. I'm going to put this workflow in somewhere, maybe in the Patreon or in the open art communities and you guys can check it out. So let me show you how we can do image to image and bring some defect image to fix that. So in the open pose, DW, open pose here, I have the skeleton image for referencing the pose of the characters. So right here, there's a little bit change. As you can see, there's not only two hands pulling up like the reference image, and it's only one handed up like that. You see the pose is a little bit different, but then we can fix the face of the character. It's not like overcooked it, what I call overcooked. Well, something basically that is too much sampling going on. And the negative prom, positive prom, is remaining the same. I'm using the realistic visions optimization prompts, and I'm putting the denoise to 0.45 here, so less denoising. So try to bring back the original image styles from the source image. And then as you can see, the second enhancement, when we go to upscalers, it looks way better than the first latent image upscaler. And now we wait and see the last upscaling, which is the 4X Ultra Sharp upscalers to generate the result. So there you go. You see there's a new image here. The color is more sharpening and the skins is sharpening, is improving by the first upscaler. And yeah, there you have. I hope this helped you guys to fix some defected image or what I call overcooked skin. Okay, so I will see you guys in the next video after the new year and happy holiday. See ya. Bye bye.